Oh no, woe is me, crisis hath struck again. Alright, so I had to replay a chunk of game. Not that, not that much. But I think I'm back where we left off, basically. Uh, basically I had to go back to the last save point, cause the, my recording software crashed. I didn't lose footage, but I couldn't get anything to reconnect until I like power cycled everything involved, which meant I couldn't, and I couldn't record, but I also couldn't get to a save, cause so on, blah 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 blah, so yeah. I think we're roughly where I left off. My health and ammo values or whatever might be slightly different, and that's about it. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. Just the Frame Meister, which is the hilarious name of the device I used up to make the game output in, in a HDMI signal and everything. Doesn't get along very well with OBS sometimes, so when I start and stop, sometimes it's like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, those are bad sounds. Oh, I forgot about the bad sounds. How in danger am I right now? Uh... I mean, technically I'm fine, I guess. I thought I was about to be attacked by this thing. I heard sounds, but there were new sounds I don't recognize as being monsters, so I wasn't sure what to expect. A plastic bag, and a health drink. There's nothing important in the trash. No use digging around in there anymore. Like some kind of weird-ass loser. Oh man, that- oh, I don't- this is not a good audio experience. It's only coming out of my, my right ear. A totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. This is from a trash can in the locker room. Great. Glad we picked it up like normal people would do. That's a normal thing to do, of course. Alright. What do I want to- There's so many things you could do with a plastic bag. You could suffocate a baby, you could carry the weird ba garb- the weird blood coming out of that- that dead man. There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage inside. Cool. Glad we picked that up. Can I walk behind this thing? Nope. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. What was that? Shouldn't get too close? That really is alarming. It looks like a, a man in a burlap, like, dress-shaped costume. Hanging from the ceiling, but mate. Yeah, I think he does have feet actually. And yeah, he's just kind of flailing. It looks like his, both of his feet and his hand are both tied up, like above him, because he's hanging. But the last one is like hanging freely and flailing, but maybe he doesn't have anything past the elbow or something. I don't know. <laughs> that, uh. An image that gives you a lot to process. Okay. So. The staircase is to my right, but I don't need to get to the staircase. Uh, maybe. But then there's the main exit. Uh, I don't like these guys. They make me go foot. That's not a staircase. That's not a door room. Um. All right. Yeah, ja good. They seem to have forgotten to have rooms on this floor, so... God damn it, go away. Gah. It's such a war to get around you guys. All right. Uh... Seems to be our jam is just to see random bizarre visuals that I don't know what to do with. And then get one item from the floor, and then go back to going anywhere else. So I got a plastic bag, I guess. Other than that, it was like a just a floor of failure. Uh, let's review. Let's be sure. I think. Th yeah, I started on the third floor. And this floor was mostly dead ends, actually. It was the phone call followed by woman's locker room. So good times. First floor, basement floor. Okay. Let's find out. Does basement floor or does floor one work? It does. Will I be happy that it worked? Probably not. Oh boy. Is it the same guys again? 
Uh. Where am I right now? What? This is a room now, apparently. Is at least this- the nurses should be here? Oh, but they're not in here, they're behind- Okay, they're behind. I'm safe. At least at this exact second. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, huh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. That is a thing. So many people will, will potentially agree that there's too many people, but they also think that they're one of the people that isn't too many. Yeah, but I deserve to be here. Oh, there he is. Huh! What the fuck is this sound? Ah. Weird animal noises, getting growls, humming. These environments- <laughs> These environments are like 70% door. Uh, front door. Wow, how could I have ever guessed that the front door wouldn't open? Oh, shit. Ah! Poof. No. That means I have to just go back now. <laughs> Alright, so when I get to the next, around the next corner, there'll be three doors on my right, one on my left. Or the whole room will, or that entire area won't match the map, which is also a thing that happens. Is there just nothing, there's just nothing in here. Yeah, she's not looking at any of this stuff. Oh boy. Hey! God damn it. Ow. Whoo. A save point. How do you do, neighbor? That's not consumables. <laughs> hey look, it's my beef jerky I never use. Yeah. I've never used a single one. I've been really bad about that. These weird, these weird dog-looking things that I'm seeing in hell are probably kind of like the other dogs that w would actually get distracted by them. Uh, what did I pick up? I think it was an ampoule. Yeah, I had two before. That's a handful of dirty syringes in the bed. I'm not sure how about. I'm not about to use them. That's for sure. Yeah, but you picked up the amp that was right next to him. You're not above taking stuff from here and using it in your body. There's a memo here on the chart. Doctor Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. I am thankful for a save point, frankly. We've been through stuff. The exam room. 312 needs religious freedom. Lock is broken. Hmm. It's not great news. I, yep. That means the entire thing is filled in everywhere. I've been to all the places. Yeah. We do have a loose end here, though. 
So the day room or whatever you want to call it ultimately, I don't know. It's called the day room on the map, but all the rooms are fake, so who knows what you want to call it now. But that place has a locked door, so I can come back here when I get when I find a key. Aside from that, we get we're busy. Huh. Yeah. Oof. Mad jukes. Full on escape. No no attacks. Made made hit made, made, making hits on me. We're good. Ah. We're going deeper. Okay. It's a little hard to see, but I think it's one, two, three. Basement one, two, three. Not one. Oh. Okay, basement three it is. So all the normal floors work on this map, on this, uh, <clears throat> on this elevator, but basement two and three don't work. Yeah, seems quiet so far. Um, it opened to here by default, which is interesting. I'm not on this map. Oh. Maybe the basement is just the morgue, slash, incinerator? So maybe it doesn't need a map. So we have a bunch of numbered bodies. I hear someone. Um... Oh. Okay. Yep. Yep. We have a combination lock. So that's where the numbers come in, right? Zero. Six, two. Eight, four, five, nine, three, seven, one. How many bodies do we have? Zero, eight, seven, three. But I think there's probably an order to it that I need to figure out, right? What? I didn't see that before. Um. Oh, one, two, three, four in Roman number Roman numerals. Oh. One, two, three, four. So it's the, not the bodies. One, two, three, four. Or it is the bodies. Eight. Zero. Three, seven. Ta da! That was pretty straightforward. Alright. Now what happens? Because <laughs> I feel like I don't want to open this. What do you. What do I do? Okay. It's just weirdly hard to interact with this wall, apparently. Cremated key. There's nothing in here apart from a few stray ashes. Okay. So how many areas have I seen with locked doors? That door was locked, but I unlocked it from behind. The third floor has no locked doors, as far as I can tell. This is the second floor. No locked doors. So it's the first floor. It's the cremated key 
We'll go to the do the day we'll go to the day room. So that's good. A scary fucked up danger area where bad happens to me. Hooray. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. Stop startling me, door. Let's see. I think I want to go back to three. Because I think I know what the bag's for. They gave me a plastic bag and they had a weird drippy man that was dropping blood into a pail. And we know that's location's important, not only because the, there's a lot of weird images that seem important. But we can tell that one's probably important because that one specifically has, uh, sh I should probably run to the end of this room. Yeah, I can skip all the monsters if I go this way. I think this location's important specifically because, uh, it's circled on the map. And they gave me a weird bag. And I think I'm- the rhythm of the bizarre puzzles of this game is getting in my head. To the point where I see this kind of thing and I'm like, yeah, I think I know what they want from me. Which is a distressing thing to realize about yourself at some point. Hey, I'm a genius. I put blood in the plastic bag. Plastic bag with blood. Yep. That's what that becomes. Alright. I don't even know what I'll need a plastic bag full of blood for. But I just kind of saw the vague logic mechanically of like what they're, what they're going for there. And I was right. Save me a trip later, I suppose. Alright. So now we'll go to the first floor because I have a key. And it hopefully goes to there, otherwise I will be very confused and not know what else to do. And uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Desperate time to take a drink while I wait for the that to play out. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Am I being approached? Oh, yep, she. Yep. Deuces. Uh oh. Well, now I don't know where I am. Okay, so that appears to have been the entire room back there. I've got a room on my left and right. You know what? I keep never using these. Distracto beef, go! Ow, I can't see anything. Ow. Help. Where are the rooms? Help, where are the rooms? I'm pretty sure there's a person there, great. Huh. Wow, I lived. <laughs> I, I can't believe that missed me. <laughs> of all the things that hit me, I messed- I perfectly dodged- I got all the way down here, about the end of the hallway? Man, blood mode is brutal. I can't even see where the doors are half the time. Some of them genuinely aren't doors, but on the third floor in particular, there was definitely doors on some of the parts of the wall where I would expect the doors to be, but I couldn't see them. But they were on the map. There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and... Is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic... Mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pre uh, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which the prisoners and sinner were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice nearby. In religions practiced nearby, 
It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. As opposed to all the religions that don't feel culty. As an outsider, the distinction is very confusing. It usually just feels like, well, that one's not a cult. It's ours. I saw the draw. I saw that drawn on the dividing screens at the hospital, but this is different. Seems like it was drawn a long, drawn a long time ago, somehow. New save. Those candles didn't light themselves now, did they? Well, ritual sacrifice, right? Hey. Okay then, um, let's make a new save, just in case, because the door left, <laughs> they took the door away, the only way for, the only direction I can go in is down, uh, well last time they had, gave me a save point and then a giant staircase, or I mean a giant ladder, that was a boss fight. <laughs> Blow him away. Heather, we believe in you. Also, maybe he'll be distracted by jerky. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Do I have any extra ammo for this gun yet? Handgun, shotgun. Nope. Nope, that's all I got. Alright. Good luck. Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. Ha! Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. We, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. 
What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. like that I didn't like that being the first thing I saw when the cutscene ended was him being like one inch away from me fuck oh oh she's moving around shit What's with the moaning noises? I don't like it. Really? That's all I get out of you. God damn, all right. That was 32 shots apparently. A bunch of them went into the air because I thought I was targeting him but I wasn't or something. Just slowly, slowly kicking him. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Cause I'm so slow with my movement speed between like the, the water and my armor. Oh, he's moving. Am I doing a good job? I don't know. He hasn't hit me yet. Uh. Uh. Nope. It's hard to tell, but sometimes he's in a flaily mode. And when he's flailing, I can hit him. But if he's not flailing, he's about to just like go back to running around. Okay, he's still doing that. This is the strangest. That those gears are horrifying. This deals with a few of this. This is there's a few fears being harnessed here. One of which is being waist deep in water that you can't see through. That's pretty worrying. You better fear me, I'm gonna kick you in slow motion. Wow, he never hit me. Weird. Well, that was pretty all right.
Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? <gasps> now I can save anywhere. 